Darrington is a small logging community nestled in the western slope of the North Cascade Mountains. We sit in a temperate rainforest where we get lots of rain each year. Uh, it's a beautiful location. We have glaciers, teal rivers, and beautiful conifer forests all around us here. I'm Oak Rankin, and I'm the executive director of Glacier Peak Institute. Darrington is where I grew up playing and swimming in the rivers in this natural environment. A lot of kids do not have that opportunity anymore. They cannot afford it. My name is Dan Rankin. I'm the president of the board um, for Glacier Peak Institute. I grew up here in Darrington. It's been probably one of the most fantastic times to be a young person and being engaged in the environment and the outside world. When I was a kid, timber um, was a very big part of our community and for a lot of the rural towns on the western slope of the Cascades. What that meant for small towns and rural communities was a diversity in the workforce and the capabilities of our youth to become engaged in many different facets of, of working outside and being outside, um, not only recreating and hiking and hunting and fishing, but also everyday work was, was outside. We had Forest Service personnel, we had loggers, we had mill folks. Um, we all were engaged in, in the ecosystem. And not, not only were we engaged, you know, they, you developed the appreciation of what this environment has to offer you as a, as, as a human being. That dwindled in the late 80s and continued to degrade over the last 25, almost 30 years now. Over the last 20, 30 years, we've suffered a lot of hardships as a community, including the decline of our timber community, uh, where we've lost around 90% of our timber associated jobs as well as the Oso slide in 2014 uh, that took out 49 homes and 43 lives. The SR 530 landslide devastated our community. And our community stepped up and propelled itself into that disaster and into uh, that emotional um, trauma that came with that and rose above it and, and through that momentum created Glacier Peak Institute. When GPI started, I was teaching kindergarten in Darrington schools. We had been trying to develop an outdoor hands-on experience for our little learners. The outdoors is naturally a place to have a creative mindset and build resilience in youth that really fosters a stronger opportunity for their futures. Part of the STEM curriculum is getting the schools outdoors because of, despite popular beliefs, a lot of these rural youth do not get outdoors. And the school is the best place to do this. There's amazing teachers and just need help and support with developing the curriculum, understanding how this can be an interactive environment with the in-school lessons that they're doing. By merging those two, as well as whitewater rafting, mountain biking, hiking, or just simply wandering the woods with our after-school activities, we're able to develop a much brighter future and opportunities for these youth. We're in this fortunate situation where we have the Mount Baker National Forest backed up to our school property, and Glacier Peak helps the teachers design science lessons out on the trail. They help us get enough volunteers to take the kids out hiking. Um, learning about habitat and ecosystems. They helped me be able to take my class out snowshoeing for PE. Here we can use the leverage of Glacier Peak Institute's ability to bring volunteers and funding to a situation that was completely neglected and bring it back to life and make plant science possible for the kids of Darrington and beyond. Starting in Late winter, we have the students come out and help us get ready to plant and plant. And we have the kids learn how to care for plants. We do a lot of things like measuring and comparing, graphing. We learn about native plants. We learn what plants are good for in our environment, as well as in our gardens and in our bellies. We're growing flowers and vegetables for sale. We're able to bring our community and our youth 
to these wonderful experiences that mean so much today and tomorrow and, and for a lifetime. Making those individuals and those young people as they grow citizens that are engaged no matter where they are. Furthermore, our programs have been designed to build bridges between urban, rural, tribal, and other communities. Our goal is to build a stronger future for ecosystems and these communities through the outdoors and providing opportunities for all. We don't have a boys and girls program, but we have Glacier Peak. It's super great for the kids. The future of Glacier Peak Institute is to provide STEM, STEAM, STREAM education to these young individuals so that they can create sustainable solutions going forward and for the future and for their own future and the future of the community of Darrington. Thanks to GPI's ability to support us financially, we can buy the potting soil, buy the seeds if necessary, buy fertilizer and all the things that we need in order to bring plant science back to the Darrington School District. GPI at its core, at its core is committed to serving the rural youth. That is what makes it so unique. They need your help to continue. Please help support Glacier Peak Institute with a financial donation so that we can continue this vital project. Thank you for your help.